You're here. Hi, Rachel. I love you. I am not doing that. <laughs> well, it's listening, right? <sighs> okay. Um, I just ordered Taco Bell, of course. Um, and I have so much to do, it's unreal. And I'm very stressed. Danny doesn't get off work for another hour. And um, I have to run a bunch of errands and um, finish some last minute Christmas gifts um, that I've been working on. Hi. Welcome. Please tell me about my phone. Oh, I did. Duh. I just ordered Taco Bell now, of course. So I look like this. I'm sorry. This is what I look like right now. Just deal with it. I know most of you don't care. Um, oh, wait. I need to plug my microphone in. Hold on. Hold on. How did we do this last time? Wait a minute. I totally forgot about that. Wait, where did he put it? Is this it? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Better sound is coming. Better sound is coming. I hope. Hold on. Hold on. Now what do I do? I forget. Oh, I did the wrong one. Okay, hold on. No, wait. That's... Wait. Why is it blinking red and green? Does that mean it's working or it's not working? I think it's... Hello? Is this working? You guys tell me. Is this working? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Hello, hello? Somebody tell me. Is this working? Somebody please. Okay, I don't think so. Thank you, dear. Okay, let's try this one. What is it blinking at? Hello? 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 Is there a difference? Is it louder? Did I have the wrong thing plugged in? What is happening? Oh, I have the wrong thing plugged in. Hold on. That one sounded louder. Okay, let me test this one too. Because I think this one's even better. Hold on. Okay, how about now? Okay. How about now? I think this is how we had it last time and it worked, right? Is it working? Hello? Is that any better? Yeah, that's better. Yay! Oh my gosh, I did it. Now where do I put this thing? What did we do last time? Candle? Um, oh, and I need to pull up your comments. What am I doing? I'm not very good at this today. Hold on, I'm not very good at anything today. I am, that's not true. I'm a wonderful person and I have so much beauty. And grace and I've got my whole life together. Um, okay, hold on, let me pull you guys up. I've been crying, that's why I'm all swollen. So just ignore me. There you all are. Okay. Oh. Okay, I don't think it's out of the way. Hold on. I get released. This I have an idea. I can just like sorry if this is like super loud while I try to it. How is that? Does it sound okay right here? I just put it on Danny's advent calendar thing. I think it falls in a pretty good place. How's that? Does that sound good? Okay, um, let's see here, okay, sounds fine, okay, good, 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 thanks Rachel, you too, okay, how are you guys today, it's been a few days since I've checked in, obviously vlogmas is a total fail for me this year, um, where's my eyelash curler, I know I brought it down. Oh no, where is it? What? Didn't forget it? 
I usually do my eyelashes first. I know that's kind of weird, but I guess I'll do it the other way. Um, hi, Sherry. So how are you guys doing? You can ask me anything, anything at all. It can be fun. It can be sad. It can be happy. It can be hard. It can be soft. It can be rounded up or down. Can you guys film me? I prefer to do my eyes first because my eyes sag like this and so when I put eyeshadow on it always like falls right there so I like to do that at the end with my concealer but um but we're gonna do backwards today because I don't have the energy yet to go get my stuff that's upstairs. Did you pres did you present a holiday budget or play it by ear? We kind of just played it by ear this year, I think. We're well, we have a budget for each other. No, we did have a budget actually. We had a budget for each niece and nephew of mine and but some people we didn't have a budget for. Um, it doesn't mean we went crazy on those some people. It just means that we just kind of got whatever we thought they would want, which is like our parents. Um, but yeah, all the kids had a good budget and Danny and I have a budget for each other and that's something I still haven't done. It's Danny shopping. So yeah, I'm hoping to get my niece to come and she said she could come and take me shopping for Danny. So that'd be good. But Danny has the card. So I'm trying to wait for him to come home. So I'm like, oh, well, I might as well do a live stream. Right? Um, let's see. I could have sworn I brought down my mask. I like to put on a lot of blush these days because I'm just so pale. Okay. Um, oh, good luck, Dana. I'm constipated and about to use an enema. Good luck, my dear. You got this. Um, I also have to shop for my husband. Why are they so hard to shop for? <laughs> they are. I've done some of my shopping of his online, um, like on Amazon, and I made him promise to not look at our account, and he said he wouldn't. He usually is good about it, and I hope he doesn't, because a lot of his shopping was done on Amazon, but I just wanted to go out today and get him a few more things, and like stocking stuffers, and stuff like that, you know. To go get you know what when my food gets here I'll go get my mascara and the food and come back so I'll talk to you for a minute until the food gets here when is the food getting here it's probably very soon let me check real quick hold on okay we're six minutes away nice thank you Shire um I'm going Christmas shopping for Danny and a couple other last minute things. And I've got to get stuff for, for Christmas dinner. I am making, what am I making? I'm in charge of cranberry sauce and um, 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 green bean casserole, which I love. And yeah. Ugh. What happened to getting the game station? Yeah, I was gonna get him a new Xbox, but apparently Paul gave him one of his old ones and it works just fine. So I'm glad that like, luckily that his Xbox came up in conversation because he's been having trouble with his Xbox for a while now. Um, and so I'm like, oh, I'm totally going to get him one. But then I don't remember how, but it came up in conversation and he told me that Paul gave him one of his old ones. And I was like, oh, so maybe I shouldn't get you one for Christmas. He's like, no, don't give me one. So I don't really have like a big gift for him. I, 
every year I always have like something that's, you know, his big main present. And this year I don't have that. I And he doesn't have that for me either. I think we're just doing just like, just like, just like fun stuff. And, um, usually I do all of my shopping as well because Danny never has time, but this year he wanted to do some of it. I did some of it already, but he wanted to do some. And it's the first year I think ever that he's going to surprise me with things because I usually do all my shopping myself. So it's actually kind of exciting. I feel like a little girl again, like, oh, what's Santa going to bring me? I have no idea. Because usually I'm focused on him and like getting him everything he wants. And, and I know that shopping is hard when you work a lot. And so I'm like, okay, I'll do it for you. Anyway. Um, <sighs> okay. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, so if anyone else has a better idea, let me know. Did I take my meds? Did I leave my meds upstairs too? What is wrong with me today? Oh no, wait, they're right here. I keep forgetting to take my daily meds. You know, the vitamins and the prescriptions and everything. Um, maybe I won't put mascara on. Maybe I'll just put on some glasses and go. Because then I'm coming right back home and working on something and. Yeah. Jason has my order and he's on his way. This is embarrassing. I could walk to Taco Bell, but I ordered it. It's too cold, too painful. I feel like the mic might need to be switched again. What if I did that? I just want to make sure you can hear me the best possible. What's not enough? I got Risto a silicone wedding band. Oh, that's a great idea. A replacement band for his watch and a nice headset for making music. That's awesome. Feel like it's not enough sure it is why not everyone's different you know sorry jason you bring that food but who's jason what did i miss something what are you saying rachel a see what i did there because <laughs> rachel a I might cry. So if I do, let's just all decide right now ahead of time. If Shani cries, then she's going to get real embarrassed about it. She'll probably try and stop herself. And you guys are all going to be like, just let it out. Just cry. But you don't understand. If I get going, it's real hard for me to stop. So this entire live stream would just be me crying. What was I going to say? What am I telling you? I don't know what's happening. Ugh. Oh, Jason. Oh, that Jason. I was like, okay. Yay. Slay Jason. Yes. Go, Jason. Go, Jason. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jason. I just realized I can't eat yet because my meds are not working yet. Oh, no. I forgot that I had to just take Prilosec and Carafate to coat my stomach. Oh no. Well, we might be eating some mushy tacos in 20 minutes instead. We'll see. Don't be embarrassed, you butthead. I just cried for 30 minutes about babies and how much I love my dog and other the other day. That's so cute. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it, like, I'm sure I've told you guys this before and I just, I don't want to, like, I don't want, like, have, I, I don't want to, you know, give you a big old sob story, but it is true that I was shamed and I would get in trouble for crying by someone in my childhood a lot. And, or I would get made fun of if I cried 
um, or I just was a complete burden. Like that's my biggest one is that I feel like a burden if I cry because I don't want anybody to have to be like, oh, Shani, we love you so much. And I'm so sorry you're going through this. And oh, da, da, da. And like, I do appreciate that. That's very sweet, but that's not like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just am very weird about, I just don't want people like, I mean, never mind. Uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know what it is. It's, a, I think it's a combination of everything and, and yeah, but I might cry. We'll see. <gasps> My order's here. <gasps> Taco Bell's here. Is he gone? It's really awkward when you go to get your food and they're still on the porch taking a picture of it. It's really awkward. That's happened before. And so I like, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I always like, I think he's gone. Let me go check. Hold on. Hang on, there's a buttload of packages to bring in, and I'm going to open in front of you guys because I'm sure Danny won't watch this. It's all presents for him, so. Just a few things, you know, a gift. <laughs> While we wait for my Prilosec to take effect, we will open these boxes. got this it's like strawberry strawberries and cream slushy thing never had it before from Taco Bell that's okay Michelle we just started we'll be here till Danny gets home so probably like 45 more minutes at least probably That's incredible. This is delicious. Try this from Taco Bell. Strawberries and cream. They have just a strawberry one too. But this is like a strawberries and cream freeze. I think it's what it's called. Oh yeah. That's really good. Wow. I'm surprised. Okay. Um, Shani, your feelings are valid. I know it's hard to work through. I was also told I was overly sensitive as a kid and learning day by day that with people in my life that the people in my life now choose to love me for me. I'm worth it. I love you, Rachel. I just love you so much. Always have. Always will. You've always been there for me. I love you so much. Hey, cat. All right. What do we get for Danny? Let's see. Never remember what I order. I should not show my address. So feel free to ask me anything while I'm doing this. 
so Danny's, <laughs> this is a good one, Danny's obsessed with patches right now. Um, he wears this jacket every day that has like a, 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 what is it called? The sticky stuff? That you put patches on? Velcro. It has Velcro on the sleeve. And his truck, which is his like prized possession, which is like a suburban something, but he has just turned that thing into a beast. It's like a tank. It's incredible. And he's just worked so hard on it in so many ways. But the top of the ceiling inside of the truck is carpet. And so he collects like little um, patches to put up there. So he's got like a hundred of them. So I ordered him some more. And I think this is actually my favorite one that we're about to see. So I love my crazy wife. <laughs> Could that be more perfect? It's incredible. I'm so excited to give that to him. I love that. That will be fun. Okay, what else do we have here? kit because Danny now has a beard and his beard is curly a little bit it's also bright red which is adorable I think um, his dad is a complete redhead and two of his sisters are redheads but he's never had I've never seen red hair on him in any way um, but he always had a goatee, but like he grew out like the entire beard and the beard is red and I think it's so cute and he loves his beard, but it's why it's a wild beard. I mean, a lot of beards are like that and he needs taming. So I got him a whole kit, a whole grooming kit for his beards. So that's fun. What else? More patches. Is that a patch? Wait, what is that? Oh, wait. Oh, I know what this is. Hold on. Is my niece watching? I think that's who I ordered this for. Let me make sure. Oh, Rachel, you're the best. Oh, no, I did get this for Danny. Oh, no. Wait, who did I get this for? It's funny. It's a keychain that says, it's covered, but it says, Drive safe. No one else will tolerate me. I love you. Oh, it is for Danny. So it's from me to Danny saying drive safe because nobody else will tolerate me. I love you. Okay, gotcha. That's cute. Okay. What else? Um, next, package. Where's my address? Oh, and this, but I kind of got this for me. It's a meat tenderizer thing. I saw it on TikTok. A bunch of people use it and a lot of recipes, crock pot recipes I've been wanting to try. Um, and meat tender, I'm like falling in love with, I've, I've never used a meat tenderizer ever, but you can use it on anything, steak, chicken, anything you want. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. Um, it's hard to do this without showing you the address. Oh no, your Taco Bell doesn't have the strawberries and cream. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's terrible. Rude. Get it together, Taco Bell. Okay, this is kind of a big one. Maybe this will be his big one. I really hope he's not watching. Danny, if you're watching, I hope... Oh, good. You can't see it. You can see the city. In the state, but that's it. So, never mind. Um, Danny, if you're watching, stop watching. Did he do it? I don't think he is. But he's at the studio building things, and when he builds things, he listens to 
things, but he usually has like his own music and podcasting. I doubt he's watching, but just in case, Danny, please stop watching. Okay, I got him, and I got this on 70% off, and it was an Amazon Lightning deal. And it's a, dr it's a drone with a camera. It's probably not the best one out there, but it's something... Um, like Paul has one that's way better and more expensive, but it does look like a pretty good one. And so I got such a good deal that I'm like, I should just get it. I think that's amazing. Um, and then, oh, wow. That's amazing. Look, these are all patches, all of them. Holy crap. That's a lot of pack, package, pack, patches. Wow. I'm just gonna have a blast going through these. Look at all those. That's awesome. That's cool. Oh, he's gonna love this. Yay. Okay. What else? You know, someone once told me, and it always stuck with me every time I heard it or said it, you can't feel fat. Like, I know what you mean, because um, Celestia, Celestia said, I was just crying today, feeling fat. Like, I know what they mean. I think about it every time, but it's like, it's not a feeling of like, oh, these are actually for my neck. Okay, this is weird to me, but my sister... Is it weird? You know what? I'm kind of worried. Okay, what else do we have? What's the other thing? Oh, I got Danny an Echo Dot for his garage so he can hear his music and stuff better. So that's cool. Um, Anyway, someone, yeah, someone once said that to me, and, and I always think about it. Every every time I think to myself, I feel fat, or I hear someone say, I feel fat, I always think to myself, like, fat's not a feeling. But also what I think is, like, what's wrong with fat? And it's like, I feel that way about every other person in the world except myself. And it's so stupid. And it's starting to get to be something that... I've accepted and like, I mean, I'm almost 40 years old and I'm finally starting to accept that this is my body and this is how I was born. This is how I was shaped. And I know where this fat came from. I know this fat came from a lot of pain and anguish and um, just relying on food to get me through everything. Um, and it's hard because food addiction is hard and it's hard to, if you're addicted to eating and you can't stop, but it's like, fat isn't a feeling, and also, what's wrong with being fat? Like, you are beautiful just the way you are. You are gorgeous. You are stunning. As long as you love yourself, that's all that counts, and I know you don't right now, but I'm telling you, it's possible. It's hard, but it's really possible. I don't think that was very good advice. I don't even think I put into words what I was trying to say, so just know that you're beautiful. Fat is beautiful too, even if you are fat. Great. You're gorgeous. Stunning. I am too. I'm overweight. I'm stunning. I'm swollen eyes from crying. <laughs> okay, so my nephew is at that age where, like, everything has to be named brand. You know, he's like a new teenager, he's almost a teenager. And you want to like compare with your friends. And so I asked Michelle, my sister, I was like, what should I get Zachy? And she's like, you got to get him some of this underwear. <laughs> I'm like, underwear? She's like, yeah, there's these boxers that these boys, it's apparently like the thing that to wear these boxers with the brand label showing on this, on the strap thing. And I was like, is that weird, Michelle? She's like, no, it's not weird. I'm like, okay. So, because she got him some and then I got him some. So, that's what they look like. I don't know. Ethica something. 
Apparently there's some fancy name brand boys underwear, so I'm like, whatever. Michelle will just give me usually, I'll call her and she'll, and I'll be like, what, is, what do your kids want that they don't have yet? And then she'll tell me and then I'll just get it. Mm -hmm. He was going to love him. I love Zachy. He's so funny. Um, okay, one more box. There's a lot of stuff today. Savvy, how we define overweight is insane. I agree. What do you mean by that, though? Okay. Oh, this is um, for Danny. Some Danny had for me. But because usually at, in the evening, a lot of the time, I sit on the couch and go live. And then he'll be on the other couch on the other end of the room playing his game. So I thought I'd give him some headphones so that it's not loud. And I guess that's it for today. Yay! Okay, now I need to hide all these. I don't care. Walk in at any moment. Oh, there's, wait, there's two more things in here. I didn't even see this. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, hold on. I have to show you this. If it's appropriate to show. I can't remember exactly what it says. Come on. I'm kind of shaky today, so this is probably not a good idea, but. Oh yes, okay, this is a great gift that any husband and wife should get. This is a great gift idea. Um, hold on, let me pack this stuff up first real quick because I'm afraid he's gonna walk in. And... Let's see some of this ish. This is, okay, so a lot of you know, because he's done, he's used it a lot on the internet, either on a live stream or on YouTube or whatever. Um, Danny always carries this coin, and it's a yes or no coin. One side says yes, one side says no. And he uses that thing daily. I'm not kidding. He uses it for every decision in the world. It's insane. Like, if he's trying to decide, like, what to eat, like, what should I eat? Or if he's trying to, to decide, should I rest on my day off or should I go and get some organizing done in my shop day off? Like, things like that. And he always follows what the coin says. Um, and the number one thing that couples fight about, usually, is what to eat for dinner. Um, it's stuck in here. So this is a coin that says... What is this wrapped in? Why are you... What are they... Oh. Good night, woman. Oh my gosh. What do you wrap this in? This plastic doesn't even break. There we go. Okay, so one side says husband's choice. And one side says wife's. So, I know he's going to love this. I know he is. So if any of you 
need a gift for your partner. That's a really, really good one. And then this is like a, I don't know what, this came with something for free. So it's like a smart light bulb. I'm sure he can use it somehow. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Now I'm hungry. I need to eat my tacos. All right. Now I will answer your questions. Do you have any? Can we do a cleaning video? Yes. Hopefully. Um, right now, I am... Sorry if the noise is annoying. Yes, eventually I will, yes, as soon as I do clean up. Right now it's like crunch time, you know what I mean? It's a week till Christmas and I have so much to do. And so Danny's been so wonderful at like keeping the kitchen clean so that I can focus on wrapping gifts and working on something that I'm working on. And, um, and he, what was the question? I just lost my train of thought. Shocking. Um, but once we're all done, once I'm like done with things, then I'll do a huge cleanup up in my room slash office right now. Um, and I will film it for you if you'd like, because I do have a lot of cleaning to do. And I need to go through my clothes in my closet. That's a big one that I, I've been needing to do for a while. I've got a huge pile in there that I need to go through. So, all right, you guys know my order. Some of you, this is just... I get two, usually two crunchy Taco Supremes. Usually I get cinnamon twist. I didn't this time. And they have a new thing. I forget what it's called, and it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. However, it's a very heavy, for me, it feels too heavy sometimes. So I only eat it if I'm, like, starving. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. That's a good taco. Okay. Questions. Any questions? Now, Sam continues from saying how we define overweight is insane. Weight is insane. How we define overweight is insane. We saddle people with that label even when they're healthy. It's harmful for marginally medically overweight. You're right. That's so true. Maybe I should even stop saying that I'm overweight. What do you think? Um, I forget what it's called. It's like a, what's it called? So it's basically, a, it's a crunchy taco supreme like this, but then they take a soft shell, a soft taco thing, and spread beans on it, and then put it on the outside of the taco. So like sticks of taco, it's really good. It's not a gordita, is it? I don't know what it's called. It's really, really good, though. How do you find the energy to clean? I actually hate cleaning. I'm so tired. Um, I don't, often. So when I have the energy, I take advantage. And that's how every day of my life goes. If I wake up and can't move, in too much pain, there's not a lot I'm going to get done that day. But if I wake up and have even an ounce of energy, I'm like, okay, take advantage of it and do what you can. So, it's okay. No. Um, no, it's not the cheesy cordita crunch. I don't think. Right, let me look it up. Hold on. Double Decker Taco Supreme. That's what it is. So it's just a Taco Supreme wrapped in beans and a soft tortilla. It's really good. <clears throat> Have you been into making art recently? Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I have. But I can't talk about it because it's for a Christmas gift. But I'll tell you after Christmas. But it's getting, it's getting, it's giving me, it's bringing back that creative bug that I've been missing for a long time. You know, I, I got obsessed with making cards and then painting and all that stuff. So there is a current like art form craft type thing that I, that I'm doing and I am, um, And I'm, I've got the bug again, like I want to keep on doing that kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. That was a very good talk, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Cher. It's good to see you. I'm glad you came back. Um, okay, Kat says, what is something you wish you had more experience with knowing as you transitioned into married life? Well, first and foremost, sex. I wish I had known more about sex. Um, I was a virgin, technically by choice. I was a virgin um, when I got married, so was Danny, and I just wasn't taught a lot about it. So that was a really big, we both wanted to wait until marriage, so that was a big change. Um, and I wish that I had been taught more because we all know the story of, I feel like YouTube and social media where it is right nowadays, I'm not able to tell this story. I would. What do you guys think? I don't know. But I wish I would have been taught more about sex. And also, I wish that I would have, I would have, my, my biggest advice that I give to people about marriage, because we've been through some really hard stuff, especially the first, a year into our marriage, we went through something awful. And like I was talking to divorce lawyers, like it was over. Um, but something just made me stick with him and I'm so glad I did. And I'm so glad we worked it out and changed where we needed to change and we grew together. And that's such a beautiful thing. And that, and that's going to happen in your marriage too. Um, cause Kat's getting married soon and that's going to happen. You're going to have arguments, you're going to have disagreements, and there's going to be so much to learn about each other that you don't already know. Um, even if you've been together for 10 years before you get married, there's still going to be more that you learn. I still learn more about Danny every day, but I can tell you that one of my biggest thing is, is when we, maybe I've told you guys this before, but I'll say it again real quick. Um, when we went through that really bad time, um, I, of course, like, cause this is how I was not raised, but well, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I like spilled everything to my whole family. Like I told them everything that he did, um, and talked about how it made me feel and how angry I was and all the things and blah, 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 blah. Um, and then we got back together and we worked it out and then we went to therapy together and we kept working on it. And then it took years. It took about five or six years to fully work it out, but we did. Um, but one thing I noticed was that during those five to six years, and then even still after, I would say up to 10 years of our marriage, we're almost married 20 now, but it took up to 10 years for my family to see what I saw in Danny because they weren't there with us when we worked things out. They weren't there in therapy. So like, just be careful what you share about your marriage with other people, because those other people that's what they're going to remember forever because they're not going to be there with you, living with you every day and see, and going to therapy with you every day and seeing the growth and the change. And so be very, very selective about what you share. Like a marriage should be very sacred and very personal and private. And, um, just, just keep that in mind that, that if you're going to 
you know, and there's like little things that aren't a big deal, you know, like normal everyday we're imperfect human things that you can like talk to your friends and family about. But I'm talking like real big relationship issues or something like that, because you never know if you're going to work it out. Um, and I believe most things can be worked out. There's a couple things that I don't think can, but most things can. And that's something I wish I would have been told. But because I saw my parents got divorced and I've seen a lot of other of my friends and their parents getting divorced, like growing up, I just thought, oh, he did this bad thing. And so I have to divorce him. Like I didn't even like know that it was an option to work through it and stick with him and go to therapy and figure it out together. And we did. And I'm so grateful for that. So I don't know if that makes any sense, <laughs> if any of that makes sense. But um, yeah. Okay. Um. And also, I guess it just depends on your situation. It was also really new for me to, like, cook and clean. I have never, I had never lived with anyone besides my family and Danny. I, I never had a roommate, never went to college. So, like, household stuff like that was also a big, like, change for me. Like, whoa. But most people, you know, have that experience, but I didn't. Um, okay. Dana says, what do I do about this girl at work that I can't stand? She makes me angry and I sense an attitude. How should I react to her every day? I don't even like being in the room with her. Ugh. Those people are the worst. Um, everything you can just stay away from her. You know what? Maybe you shouldn't ask me because what I would do is not what most people would do. Um, I honestly would And I'm not, like, trying to be passive-aggressive or anything, but I would kill them with kindness. Because I'm like, maybe they're going through something, you know? Maybe, whatever. Maybe if I just kill them with kindness, they'll... And usually they don't, but my brain says that, and then that doesn't happen. So, I don't know. I'm the wrong person to ask about this. But, uh, avoid, avoid her. As much as you can. You don't have to talk to her. Just because you work with her doesn't mean you have to talk to her. You don't have to be friends. That's okay. And if you do have to talk to her for something, take a deep breath. Remind yourself it's not going to last forever. You know? Rachel said, it's so much easier than done, but I see it more as time goes on. I feel like my husband is against me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, that's about something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where was I? Yeah, just stay away from her and just practice, like, breathing and just play with kindness, dude. At least maybe you can feel a tiny bit of, like, Peace from that, like be the bigger person type thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's understandable. Some things are just between you and your significant other, right? Just really think it through the consequence, think through the consequence of what you share. Um,
Um, Cher said, had you not been able to live with your family, do you think you would have gotten a job and a place to live? Probably. I actually worked for the first few years of our marriage. Um, and then I worked from the time that I was 17 until when was my last job? Um, I don't know, like a total of eight years, maybe. So I did work and, but that's cause I was a lot younger and all my issues hadn't quite caught up with me yet. So I could do a lot more at the time. Um, so had I not gotten married, I don't know, because if I'm being completely honest, uh, if my parents would have let me stay, I probably would have stayed to save money or just to not be alone and not be, you know, not do bad things to myself and to keep myself safe. So I don't know. I don't know. But I, I mean, if it's something that I had to do, absolutely, I would do it. What did you do for a job? I started as a nanny and then I worked in telemarketing and then I worked at a store in the mall and then I went back to telemarketing and then I worked at a craft store. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Cher. I can see you being good in customer service. You have a good personality for people jobs. Thank you. I actually just told that a lot. So thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> When I worked at the craft store, especially, but that's because crafts make me like high as a kite with happiness. <laughs> I love crafts. <laughs> so that was like a dream job. When I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, I've hit the lottery. I'm about to work at a craft store. And I might have spent 80% of my earnings there, but, um, but man, it was fun because I'm just passionate about crafts. I love crafts. And so I loved helping people. I was really good. Like I even, t I taught a couple of card classes, like card making classes. Um, I was always the one that the boss would come to first to volunteer for like anything that had to do with creativity and like making something for the store or decorating something or anything like that. I was really good at that stuff. And I also just have this mask that I put on always around people that I don't know that's very happy and very energetic and very like talkative but it is not me like it's just what I do as a shield of how I'm really feeling so so yeah I I, I do well with that even though it's fake but I still do it well so that's whatever um so many questions and comments I love it Sorry, I'm trying to get through. If I missed yours, just keep asking. I'll see it eventually. Um, let's see. I know, right, Rachel? Me in a craft store makes so much sense. Except, here's the thing, I might get shit for this. Oh, sorry, Mom, if you're watching. Um, here's the thing. Again, I was really young and stupid and didn't really like... And it's not... I switched to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's, which is like a sewing craft store. Oh, thank you, Chris. You're always so beautiful and I love your... <laughs> I love your singing as well. That's really sweet. Thank you. Aww. Um, what was the question? What was I talking about? Um, oh, so like I would often give coupons when I wasn't supposed to. And I don't feel like that's like actually stealing because if they had made the effort, they could have gotten their own cu coupons anyway. Coupon. I never say coupon. Why did I just say coupon? I usually say coupon. Hmm. Coupon's cute though. I like both of them. Anyway, um, how do you guys say it? Do you say coupon or coupon? Spell it out phonetically for me. How do you say it? Um, so like if somebody didn't have a coupon, I would be like, did you know there's a 50% off coupon and just give it to them? And then there were times where once in a blue moon, 
I know this is terrible, but I would see, like, my heart just melts when I see somebody struggling. I just have to do what I possibly can to help them. And so there were a couple times where I could see, like, a lady would come through the check stand and you could just tell that she just had been through the worst day of her life or something. She would make up everywhere and you, you could tell she'd been sobbing and like somebody die or something. I don't know. And I would like give her an extra discount. <laughs> Is that terrible of me? So like I would like take an extra 10 or 20% off or like I would give her a coupon for something that wasn't supposed to be, I don't know, like, especially if, if they would tell me, like, that they didn't have a lot of money, and that they were hoping it was on sale, and it wasn't on sale, then I would be like, oh, it's on sale, it's just not showing up in the computer, and so let me fix it, and I did, so, probably why it stopped working there, I don't know, I'm, I'm horrible. So I was too generous with coupons and stuff. So I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. You can't hear me? Can anyone else not hear me? You hear her? I think it might just be you, Sherry. It's breaking up. Might not be store policy to do, but that's not horrible. I think you were doing it to be charitable. Thanks, girl. And I worked there, and so I saw things behind the scenes, and I know that they charge double anyway. They charge all their products, they charge double. So sometimes I just was like, you know what? Whatever. Oh, good. Glad you could hear me again. Okay. Any more questions? It makes you feel really good to get compliments on your crafts. It really does. I appreciate it. It's one of my love languages is to make something for somebody. So yeah, I do love it. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I know. Um, Jenny said, how do I deal with a toxic mother-in-law? Hubby's therapist agrees she's a narcissist. We're both triggered anytime she's around. She's not in great health and most likely won't live longer, so I feel guilty. Ooh, that's tough. That's a tough one. Ugh, oh, that's the worst. Currently going through that with someone in my life where I feel guilty for being angry with them because I think they're going to die soon. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Cher. Hi, Tequila Maria. Um, I don't have the best advice because my mother-in-law is really wonderful. But I guess I would say maybe, um, again, like I was talking about earlier with the co-worker. I think what I would do speak up where it's necessary to her because you can't just let her walk all over you all the time but only if it's necessary and the rest rest of it practice and find a way which i'm sure you have to tolerate her and to be around her and do it for your husband do it for him don't do it for her so be the bigger person but don't do it for her sake in your head do it for the sake that you love your husband and it's supporting him to support her, to have her in your life. 
and especially if she's not going to be here much longer, then just keep telling yourself that, you know, like she's not going to be here much longer. I can let all the stuff go and just, obviously if she's abusing you or saying something horrible to you, you should speak up. But like, if it's, you know, I don't know, you can decide what that line is, but I just would, that, that's my advice is to do it for your husband. Try and figure it out for your husband, not for her, not for her sake. You know what I mean? It might hurt him to see his mother hurt his wife, though. Oh, well, if that's the case, then that's different. Yeah, how does your husband feel about his mom? Because that's, yeah, that would be di very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boundaries are always good. You don't owe her anything. I don't know. I feel like that's what I would do, what I just said, but again, I don't have experience, so I have a wonderful brother-in-law. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. This sounds way more serious than that, then. Um, I literally have panic attacks with, with uncontrollable crying and trouble breathing because she's so awful. Hubby always sticks up for me, but I'm not one to allow people to disrespect me or my family. Then don't. Then don't allow it and set that boundary. Go talk to her. Seriously. Do you dare to do that? Go to her and be like, listen, I love your son. Um, I care for you. I'm sorry that you're going through hard things, and I'm sorry that whatever, like, boost her ego a little bit, and then just be like, but listen, this isn't going to work. I can't be in your life. I can't let you be in my life if you are going to abuse me and be passive-aggressive and, and just make me feel this big all the time to the point that I cry and shake and have, you know what I mean? Like, just be real with her, maybe. I don't know. <gasps> Annie's calling. Hello? 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 Hi. Oh, hi. 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 Uh, what do you, what do you need me to do? Are you coming home? Yes. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Am I going out or what, what are we doing? Just come home. We'll talk about it. I'm doing a live stream on YouTube. You want to say hi? Oh, okay. Hi. Everybody on YouTube. You'll see him in a minute. He'll be home in a few minutes. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, Love you. Bye. Um, I don't know what I said, but yeah, that would be my advice. But again, I don't have experience, so. Um. Rachel said, "I agree. Speech up when speak up when you have to. Take it day by day, issue by issue. Some things are able to be brushed off, but yeah. But if it's affecting your like." sanity and your health and your mental health that's different if it's that bad you have every right to cut her out every right um she's terrible to him too but that's his mom right so he just lets it slide a lot okay which puts him in a bad place mentally and affects our family have you talked to him about what it would look like if um if you guys just cut her out of your life, have you ever, I know it's drastic, but I'm just curious if you've even had that conversation at all and where his head is at with that. It is 5.20 p.m. for us. I'm going to call my niece. So I'll call my niece after this so she can come get me and take me shopping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was about to say that, Rachel. As soon as I was done cheering, I was going to say that. Um, Rachel said, ultimately, you and your husband are your own family now. Your families are still important, but you have established your own family. 
do what's best for you guys as a team. I love that, Rachel. Thank you. I agree so hard. Hardly all of the hardness of agreeance. Hmm. Where you live, Catherine? It's 7.20 where Catherine lives. Where is everyone, what time is it where everyone else lives? And where are you from? Tell me your time and where you're from. I'm very curious now. I did just say I was so hard, but I didn't mean it like that. I love joking about that stuff, but I don't love the backlash I get. <laughs> the internet is too sensitive for me, and I've highly so many times considered leaving the internet just because I just am an inappropriate person, but it's not in the intent of like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't get into that actually, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just a very open book. And I'm finding that I have to censor myself so much these days. And I'm like, well, that sucks because I really want to say this. And I this is how I feel. And I have to censor it. And that's not how I really feel because I have to censor it. I mean, it is how I feel. But I would rather, like, say it in... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 620 from Illinois. Nice. 422 from Cali. 12.21 a.m. from UK, nice, Connecticut, um, 6.20 Illinois, 22 minutes past midnight in the UK, nice, awesome, that's a good mom, Jenny said, my mom said she'd, she better not say anything nasty around her or there would be a huge problem. My mama has my back always. I love that. Mine does too. I love my mom. Um, mm -hmm. I agree, Rachel. That's a good way to put it. I think that people see others' intentions. Um, the right people know your intentions. And at the end of the day, you know your intentions. Exactly. Those are good tacos. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cassandra. I'm glad you're here too. Okay, any other questions? Wait, were we done with that combo? Oh, no we weren't. Jenny, I'm sorry that you have to deal with this. I will say, how many siblings do I have? Six, technically. Out of my six siblings, I'm not going to say who does have an issue with their mother-in-law and it's like they choose to like that's where the my advice was coming from as far as like do it for your husband it's kind of how they are but it's like they would never go out of their way to call her or for, for anything or but it's like of course they will invite her to things and for the sake of her husband and that they just don't get along well but they have figured out a way to coexist the few times a year that they get together you know I don't know everyone's different though wait what Michelle oh I have very poor vision not much left at all now my left eye appears to be collapsing and I'm afraid my doctor is going to tell me it needs to be removed. I see him Thursday. I'm kind of terrified. Oh my gosh. I won't be able to 
read any replies if anyone has questions. If anyone says anything, I'll read it for you. That sucks. Rachel said, sending you prayers, Michelle. May you find peace and comfort in this time. That must be so scary. I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Or Micheline, sorry. I keep calling you Michelle. It's Micheline. That is, that is tough. Wow. So is it, okay, so both your visions are, both eyes are bad, but the left one is the really bad one. Oh my gosh. Wait, it appears to be collapsing? What does that even mean? I've never heard of that before. Why are you sad, Cassandra? Because of this or something else? Wow. Yeah, you're in my thoughts and prayers as well. If that's okay. Be so tough. Rachel, you need to come back to YouTube. You are such a calming, loving presence. I miss your videos. You should come back. Something else? Do you need to talk about it? Can I help you with it at all? Not that I'm this, like, magical person that knows all the answers, but, like, would it help you to try to talk about it? It's shrinking and very soft, sinking into its socket. Oh, wow. Does it hurt? Like, does it cause pain at all? So are you, Rachel. I love you, girl. I hope it goes well, Micheline. I really do. Oh. It doesn't hurt? Okay. You just can't see anything. Oh, no. Oh, you poor thing. When is the Christmas dance party? <laughs> You're funny. That you assume I can dance. <laughs> um, not to bring up Colleen because that's a very sensitive topic. But if any of you watch her and her awkward dancing, that's exactly how I dance. So... Um, uh, I've told the doctors this, but it feels like they don't care. Oh, but I don't know if I can keep going when the rest of my vision is gone. You can. You will. You'll figure it out. You get used to every, like, every, it's a big, obviously huge deal. It's a huge change, but you will get used to it, I promise you. Your other senses will be heightened. You'll learn how to, you know, I'm speaking as if, like, I know this, but I'm, I'm just saying that, like, I've, I've got a few friends that are blind or almost blind, blind and they figure it out. You just fig figure it out. You just do. Your other, the rest of your body compensates for what you lose, but it just takes time and a lot of patience and... Who knows, you might not even need to lose your eye, and 
who knows they could fix it and if they can't then you'll figure it out you really will because you're a badass and I believe in you I know you can get through this I know it Oh, Karen, you're so sweet. Karen said, for anyone going through any kind of hard time, please remember that although it's hard, you have so far survived 100% of the tough times you've had. Sending love to everyone. Thanks, Karen. You're like the opposite of a Karen. Look at you. Does that suck having the name Karen because of the, you know, what that means nowadays? I always wondered that. Because, like, do kids go to school and be like, yeah, my mom's Karen. Your mom's a Karen? <laughs> I personally actually love that name. I don't know why that name was chosen to be this awful representation of people like that. Um, That's how you dance too? Nice. Um, I once dated a guy who was slowly going blind and was, and was legally blind by the time I met him. He figured it out. Yep. I know, Karen's a pretty name. I agree. Molly Burke. I love Molly Burke. Yeah, you should watch Molly Burke. Or listen to her, or whatever. She talks about, she talks a lot about that. She talks a lot about how she copes and how she um, does like day-to-day -day tasks. There's lots of videos where she talks about that. But I realize it's hard right now and that's very understandable. Just hang in there. Hang in there. It's going to be okay. You can get through this. You can figure out a way to live. Oh, I love her. I knew a Karen and she always said Sugar Shack. She was fantastic. Love that. Oh, Thanks, Michelle. I won't bellyache any further, but please send me a good juju, everyone. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Please do. Please let me know. You've watched lots of Molly. Okay, that's good. But all that advice to say, like, I'm sorry. What a hard thing to go through. I can't. But you know what? What is the quote? A really cheesy quote. But it's a good quote that I heard the other day. Okay, now I can't remember at all. Now I've lost completely my train of thought even. Okay. If it comes, I'll let you know. Oh, man. Should we catch up on Advent real quick while we're here? Before I go? All this cute stuff I've gotten already from Advent. I love this calendar, man. It's just perfect for me. Can I see Advent? Okay, so what's today? The 18th? So I need to do... The only problem with this is you can't tell which ones you've done because they're all in boxes. You don't know what they are. Okay, what was the last one we did? 14? Maybe? Mm. Let me check if 14 is empty. Where is 14? Oh, 14 is out. Okay, so that's probably the last one we did. So 15, I'm thinking. <gasps> Cute! Look at the box on this one. <gasps> oh, it's kind of heavier. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cute. <gasps> I'm using this all the time. Look it. Look it. 
and look at it. Look at it. It is an adorable mirror <gasps> to do my makeup in of clothes. Oh, oh so much makeup and I got to get something out of my eye. <gasps> I got to like reflect onto people. Okay, I'm trying to blind you and it's not working. Cute, love it. Okay, that was what, 15? Okay, so, so 16, sorry. Go back in, these are so fun. Okay. All right, 16 is a small one. cute. I love that. Life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. So true. Um, I got this one on Amazon. I think I just typed in like rainbow sparkly unicorn something and this is what came up. It's definitely for a five-year-old, but I'm a five-year-old, so cute. Look at these. Those fun little bracelets. Love it. That's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, 17. Where is 17? Ooh! <gasps> Look how cute! I'm dying. This is the cutest advent calendar I have ever seen in my entire life. Of all of the type of the places, of all of the advents of the calendars, of the unicorns and the rainbows. Ever. Ever. For. Ever. Four. I agree. And you can start fires. Yes. Okay. Oh, cute. Look. Oh, that's really cute. It's a little keychain. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I'm not kidding. I have not gotten one thing that I was like, eh, I won't use that or I don't like that. Like every single thing. This is the best advent calendar I've ever had. I'm like tempted to get it again next year. Okay. What number was that? 16, 17, 17. Okay, so 18, is today the 18th? Okay, so this is the last one for today. 18, cute. Okay. open it. I mean, is this calendar just made for me? Like, how? How? Look at all the stickers. These are so cute. Oh, and I can put them on my eating disorder calendar. Cutie. These are all so fun. I love it. Yay. I know, right? Like, are you joking? This advent calendar, I swear. I swear they were like, let's just get into Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon, like, they did it because I'm narcissistic. I'm just kidding. I know, aren't they so cute? Uh, you should save the calendar and fill it throughout next year with memories. That's a good idea. Quotes and pictures. Then you can reflect on all of your amazing moments next Christmas. That's a brilliant idea. I'm going to do that. So like once a month, I'll take like a lesson that I learned or put in a picture or put in a quote or something. And then we can all look at it next Christmas. That is brilliant. I'm doing that. Once a month, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put something in. That's so brilliant. I love that idea. <gasps> I hear Danny. Danny's home. Yay. I know, right? So many stickers. Uh, well, I'm going to go call my niece and 
to have her come pick me up. And we're going to go hopefully get my shopping done so I can focus on finishing other Christmas gifts and wrapping all the gammies and surviving it. Because <sighs> I'm not the type of person that can just get it done in one day. Like, my body is like, after just two hours, usually my body's like, nope, we're done. Yeah. I did. They're under a blanket. He won't look. I'll tell him not to look. But thanks for reminding me. I need to go to bed. Okay, good night. Have a wonderful night. Do you guys want to say hi to Danny before I go? I don't know where he is. Where is he doing? I hear him banging around somewhere. In the garage. He's really cool. I have a really incredible husband. How did that happen? How did I get that? It's amazing. It's so good to get to spend time with you too, I agree. All of this is wonderful. Do you, do you guys have any more questions for me? like I haven't given an eating disorder update in a while, quite a while. Um, I'm going to let you guess. How many times have I slipped up since the last time we talk, I talked to you about it, which was probably a couple weeks ago, maybe even longer? No, I think just like a couple weeks ago. So how many times in the past couple of weeks do you think that I've had eating disorder behaviors? How many days? Hello, Mike. I'm about to leave, but hello. What is he doing out here? Baba? Okay, we've got a zero, another zero, three. Is that everyone's guesses? Who wants to guess? And if you guess it right, then you win. 40. You win 40. None, zero, two. <sighs> One of you is correct. And so are three more of you. <laughs> zero. Zero mess ups. I feel like I'm getting to the point now where it's just, it's like not even, it's like, rarely on even on my radar rarely so I mean it's always there but like it's getting to the point where I've gotten to this point before in the past one time and it was amazing and I'm starting to get there again hi I miss you I do yeah why because I love you dumbass okay okay well, I love you too. Oh, thanks. Can I have a hug? Sure. And say hi to us too. Hmm. I have a Taco Bell napkin. Sorry. Thanks, guys. I'm really proud, honestly. Especially, like, I've been going through some real hard things personally. And the fact that I haven't turned back to my eating disorder for it is a... That's pretty incredible. Wow. Possible. It's hard, but it's possible. Okay, come say hi. 
so we can make it more see. You want to open your advent? I just did mine. Uh, what day is it? 15, 16, 17, and 18. Because it's like magic tricks for Santa's thing. Hi, everyone. Fine, you don't so if you want to wrap it up, I have a whole bunch of recipes that I want to throw in the crock pot if you want. We should use that bloody air fryer. That too. I bet that thing is awesome. So if you want to wrap it up in there. Oh, shoot, that's for you. Sorry. Actually, I'll give you a gift anyway. This is a good one. Sure. <coughs> do. You give me a gift now. So, I know how much you love your yes or no coin. And your big money. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I know how I much you love... Thing. Sorry. I know how much you love... Just put it on your... On well, your it's pedal. for both of us. Okay, I know how much you love coins that tell you what to do. True. What is the number one thing that we fight about the most? Money. No. What's our biggest argument? Uh, what, we don't argue. We don't argue about stuff. What to eat? We do have that. So I got you a so coin. Cool. One <laughs> side says wife's choice. The other side says husband's. And you got to do it. We actually. All right. Because like it's always like you choose. No, you choose. No, you choose. No, you choose. <clears throat> so there you go. That's pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. That's very sweet. You're welcome. Want to try it out? For tonight? Sure. Do you have dinner? Do you have food here? I do. Do you have food here? Um, for my later meal, I don't. Do I? I don't think so. Do it for fun. Ha <laughs> ha! Wife's choice! Wife's twins. That's pretty sweet, baby girl. I'm gonna yes. put with the coins. I thought so. And this came free with one of your gifts, and I don't know what it is. It's a smart bulb. It came with one of them? Yeah. Do I need the other ones? For no. It just was like an extra little gift they gave you. Sweet. Smart so, bulb. But it's a smart bulb. Yeah. It's like a Wi Fi thing. Oh, right, right. I got you. I see. I don't know if you can use it or not. Sure. Go ahead. Anyway. Okay. Do you have anything to say before we go? Merry Christmas. And a happy funny bone. Are you okay? Uh-huh. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I was good. Is that it? Uh, yes. Merry Christmas. Okay. How did work go today? Fine. Yeah, good. It was good. Okay. Okay. Well, we love you. We'll see you when we see you. Yeah. Whenever that is. And... Thanks for hanging out. We had a lot of good conversation today, so thanks, guys, for t participating. All right, we love you so much, and hope your holiday season is going well, and we will see you very soon. And remember, forever and always, that you're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am, too. Thanks for watching. Bye. me.